hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are fine and learning something creative. As you have seen the title, today we will learn about Google Docs. And before starting the tutorial make sure to like subscribe and share. Open up your web and write docs.google.com. You will be redirected to the Google Docs. Here, you can see the blank document. And if you click on template gallery, different type of sample templates be will open up, which can help you in creating different type of documents. As we are creating an empty document so we will click on blank document here. First, we will modify the name of the document by simply writing our document name, and we don't need to save it every time, as it automatically saves our editings. Now, we will take a look on all the formatings listed here by using them one by one in our document. For page setup, go to file and open, page setup. Here, you can see the different options for page setup. Now, we will set our page to A4 size, which is most used size in the world. Here you can also set the page color. As you can see here that I have selected a color for page by selecting one of the colors from the list. And now the color of the page is changed from the default color. start adding some text into our document for editing. Here you can set the style of your text by selecting one of the default styles from the list, according to your requirement. Same like that, we will add some more heading in our document for more practice and to make our document look a bit professional. We can also set the style of our paragraph in another way too. Go to Format in the menu bar, select Paragraph Styles, here you can see all the styles listed below. Now we will add some paragraph text in our document for more formatting. By simply copying and pasting some of the text with shortcut keys, Ctrl plus C for copy, and Ctrl plus B for pasting. As you can see we have selected the following text for setting the font style simply by selecting the font. Here you can see the list of font styles from which you can select any of the style, like we have selected Times New Roman. We have also set the font size by increasing the font size to 14 pixels. And now we are going to set the paragraph alignment by selecting the left, center, right and justify alignment, and you can see the result on the screen. Set the line spacing by increasing and decreasing it according to your requirement. You can also increase the paragraph margin further from the text by selecting increase indent, which will give your text more margin fr from left. We will add another paragraph and edit it the same way as we did the first one. going to add one more heading and some points, which we will use for listing format. Here we can use numbered listing, in which we have many options for listing like A to Z listing or Roman numbering. We can also use the bulleted list, and we can found more bullet options in that also. To insert a bullet, place the cursor at the bulleted line, press enter, and start typing. To create a sub-bullet, press enter, and press tab and start typing. To delete a bullet, press backspace, or select the line and press delete. If you have deleted something unintentionally you can also undo that step 
by selecting undo on the right corner of the screen and can redo it from the option next to it. Google provides spelling and grammar check option too. To do so, click on spelling and grammar, a pop-up will be shown suggesting grammar and spellings then it's up to you whether to accept or ignore the program's recommend. Here we are going to highlight some text. To do so, we are selecting some text for that, then select the highlight option on top of the menu bar and select some color from that. Select the title, and here you will see some common editings like making text bold and underline the text or make it italic. Now we will add some links to the text, so when you click on the link, you can be redirected to the following link. For that, select the following text and select insert link option from the menu bar on top of the screen. Here you will be asked to add the link. Like we have add google.com, and click on apply. When we click on the text that link is shown below it, and if we click the link, it will open that link in the new tab. I hope you enjoy the video. I will see you soon in the second part of the video. Till then. Goodbye.